Well, joining me now is Dr. Joseph Ashbucker, ESA Director of the Earth Observation Programme. Joseph, thanks for joining us. For anyone that doesn't know, perhaps you could just summarise what the programme is. The ESA Earth Observation Programme has, uh, is the Earth Observation Programme of uh, the European Space Agency. We have three main lines. Uh, one dealing with science, so we produce science missions, we call them Earth Explorers. We have, uh, we produce, we develop the Copernicus missions, they are called Sentinels. And we have the third line, which is the meteorological missions, uh, where we develop the satellites for UMITSAT, which are geostationary and polar orbiting satellites for meteorology. So it's really science and operational missions, which are both in the same directorate, in the same house, to make sure that uh, science really feeds into the operation and therefore provides the best information and top of technology for the various applications. Um, and what are the main goals that you have? To make sure that we, we monitor the planet with the satellites which we have, to make sure that our politicians understand the data which we are producing, uh, and really understand also the urgency to act, because uh, some of these data are showing quite frightening uh, uh, signs of uh, deforestation, climate change, sea level rise, and all this data come from us. And, uh, but the challenge is not to produce the data, which of course is a challenge by itself, but to convince decision makers to use this data in their decision making process. So how do you think you're doing with that challenge of communicating the data? I think not enough. We are failing to convert these uh, signals, these warning signals, into clear uh, decisions uh, and uh, I mean far-reaching uh, consequences. Um, talk of the Paris uh, Agreement, uh, everyone has uh, witnessed how difficult it was to establish it, and then suddenly big nations are pulling out of it, and of course this is not very helpful, uh, despite uh, all the science and all the observations showing that uh, the planet is at risk. How do you think we can do that better then? I think it is communication, uh, interaction with politicians, uh, awareness with the population at large, not only decision makers, but really everyone, and to create a certain awareness of what uh, the state of our, or the changes of our planet are. They are going fast, and if we are not acting fast enough, uh, it is too late, and therefore we need to create this awareness. What progress do you think we need to make in the next six months, 12 months, to, to really start addressing the problems that we have? Uh, the progress is, uh, of course, to, to make sure that we are well aligning ourselves globally with the various space agencies, NASA, ESA, JAXA, and many others, to make sure that we have a, a combined observing system that does measure all the parameters that are required from, uh, from, to monitor the change on our planet. But then, of course, we need to implement them. And uh, one of my challenges will be to come with a, an attractive program uh, and uh, make sure that uh, it is so attractive that our member states put money into this uh, program and therefore we can continue pro uh, providing these uh, satellites. Joseph, some really important goals and challenges ahead. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much.